Hey, good morning, friends. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. April the, uh, what is it, the 21st. And it's just about 7.30 a.m. I'm running a, a few minutes late making my video here, but uh, let me tell you how my day started. <laughs> I got up. Of course, I took my uh, fur baby outside, Sir Prince. He had to do his thing. Took him out there. He did his thing. We come back in. I had to get him his breakfast. I made his breakfast for him. And then I went over to my world-famous Keurig, Keurig machine or whatever it is to make my coffee. You know, with the little... Everybody's got them, right? Well, this machine I have is, uh, I want to say it's maybe six, seven years old. Hold on, let me put down some uh, caffeine here. So anyway, I've been having problems with this... Uh, machine, uh, and, uh, you know, it'll make, uh, I don't know, four or five cups of coffee. It's got its water base, the whole bit. It's a nice size little Keurig machine. It used to be my uh, my youngest daughter, daughter's, Mary Elizabeth. But uh, when I put the uh, uh, Keurig cup in there, you know, with the coffee in it, whatever you call it, you know, when you buy your Keurig coffee, and you put the lid down on it, well, you know, uh, it makes that little hole in the top, but the hole underneath, the little, for lack of a better word, the little dicky that's <laughs> in the the Keurig holder from underneath, it's supposed to punch a hole in there, you know, when you put your Keurig uh, coffee in there, and then you push down on the top, it's supposed to go bump down, and this is supposed to go uh, up in, well, for whatever reason, this little... Dicky isn't isn't going up in. So, what I've been doing for the past couple of days, and I got to go online and see if I can uh, just buy that piece to put in there. But what I've been doing, <laughs> I've been going over into my uh, silverware drawer, and I, I get a little steak knife knife out. All right, I say this is my steak knife, and I hold my cura cup, and right here I'll just punch a little bit of hole, and I'll, I'll twist it just a little bit. And then I'll set it down in my Keurig machine and put the lid down, and, and it makes my coffee. Just got to have a little bit of a hole in here, you know, which is not what it's doing <laughs> normally. Well, this morning I made my coffee with my uh, little steak knife, and I made the hole just a tad too big. <laughs> I put my Cura cup in there, pulled down the lid, hit the button for the size cup of coffee I wanted, and I'm patiently standing there waiting, and it's doing its thing, it's making its coffee for me. Let me put this down. And uh, I pull my cup of coffee out. There's nothing but a thousand million freaking coffee grinds in there. It was like my partner was still living here at the house. Because there were times that she'd made coffee and it was rough, you know. <laughs> That's before we had the Keurig machine. But, uh, yeah, I, I got my cup of coffee and I, I had to dump it, you know, in the sink. And that and coffee grounds all over the place. So I had to clean all that up and start all over from scratch. So I wasted a Keurig cup. I had to get another Keurig cup, just put a smaller hole in there and... And the rest is history, so it's made. So, uh, oh, by the way, this is my coffee cup from a friend of mine. And, uh, Jim, if you're watching, I got a new buddy by the name of Jim, by the way. I'll tell you people all about him here in a minute. This is from, uh, my friend Lucille, uh, over there, uh, uh, Long Island, New York. You know, she got this for me a couple years ago when she, uh, found out that I was a DJ and I was into music and that, and she, uh, you know, out of the goodness of her heart, she just sent me this little coffee cup from, uh, from Long Island, you know, from, well, wherever she got it, but, you know, that was nice of her. Lucille, hope you're doing well, hope your husband's doing well. Now, to get back to, uh, my new friend Jim, and Lucille, he's from Long Island, and I told him, you know, how you and me are friends, and, of course, this guy's a real real character. He says, oh, yeah, I know Lucille. 
She told me to check up on you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Jim is, uh, um, what can we call him? A landscaper. And, uh, you know, he had a, a little blurb of a f uh, uh, flyer up at uh, Boyer's, you know, for uh, landscaping and cutting grass and this and the other thing. And uh, uh, with my uh, issues that I have health-wise, I got in touch with him. And uh, he come over and, and he uh, cut my grass for me. And he raked it real nice and uh, did some weed eating. And I'll tell you what. I don't have a fancy backyard by no means, but he did a real nice job. I'm very happy. And if any of you people in the general Tower City area might be looking for somebody to manicure your lawn, you know, put some mulch down, cut your grass, do, do some weed eating, uh, by all means, uh, get in touch with me through a private message, or you can find my uh, phone number on Facebook. Get in touch with me, and I'll... I'll uh, Get your number, and I'll give it to Jim, and Jim will call you, okay? We'll do it that way. But, uh, you know, I recommend it. Try him out, you know, and he's reasonable. Yes, he is, you know. He's also retired, uh, a few years younger than me, mind you, all right? <laughs> he's a young retired man, and uh, he says, you know, when I got in touch with him, he said, I'm just doing this. I just want something to do to stay active, and and he he did have a, uh, a landscaping company in Long Island, so he's got all this experience in that. So have at it, okay? All right, let's put some down. Come on. <clears throat> That's my uh, public service announcement for uh, Jim's landscaping. I know his last name, but, you know, he didn't uh, uh, okay me to say it, so I'm not going to say it, all right? Oh, he doesn't even know I, I'm going to plug him on this. But anyway, okay, so uh, uh, I had a friend get in touch with me uh, that lives up in um, Cleveland, 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 Georgia, excuse me, and uh, she's uh, an RV in one of the RV clubs um, that I'm uh, associated with. And uh, she gave me some of the uh, campgrounds up in Cleveland, Georgia. And I uh, got in touch with one of them yesterday. And they're already uh, uh, setting it up to send me in stale mail, mind you, you know, printed material that I can actually read. You know, the same thing happened with... Uh, uh, Raystown uh, Campground, or, you know, Raystown Lake, Pennsylvania. I called them up, and I said, uh, yeah, could you uh, mail me some information on your area? And the young girl, you know, just by over the phone, it sounded like she was, I don't know, maybe 16 years old or something like that. And she goes, you mean snail mail? <laughs> and there was a little bit of a silence there because I it had a red... Red, excuse me, register in my mind. And I went, uh, yeah, stale mail. And she goes, we don't do that. I might have some old stuff here. I said, okay, just send me some old propaganda, you know, so I can look it over. And she goes, well, the prices aren't going to be right. I said, I understand that, you know, just send me the, you know, what, uh, what's going on up there and what uh, you have to offer in your campground, yada, yada, yada. So, she sent me stuff to, through snail mail. <laughs> and I'm getting stuff through snail mail from uh, Jenny's Jenny's campground. Jenny's Creek campground over there around Cleveland, Georgia. And they do have a website. I was on their website, and it looks like a, a pretty nice little campground. So uh, maybe I'll be... Uh, Taking a trip up there in my uh, land, the yacht, you know, this summer. And they're open, by the way. Jenny's uh, Jenny's Creek Campground in Cleveland, Georgia. They opened up yesterday, full time. They're open for business. So, uh, you know, you RVers out there, if you're looking for a place to go, that because I'm sure there's a lot of campgrounds out there right now because of this virus. 
you know, they're keeping all of us away. Look what happened with Thousand Trails. You know, we can't get in there. But anyway, I can't get into my place down at uh, uh, Cape May, you know, Cape May Courthouse, um, uh, King Nummy Trail Campground. They're still closed until the governor over there says, okay, open up for business. So, all right, that's enough of that. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's see, um, how about birthdays today? Yeah, we'll go with birthdays. It's uh, Queen Elizabeth's birthday today. She's uh, 94 years young. God, God bless her, you know. <laughs> Hail to the queen, you know. And she's still doing her thing, you know. I'd like to know what kind of vitamins she's taking. I could use some of that. Or whatever she might be drinking once a day or something, you know. <laughs> Another birthday today is uh, a rocker. A rocker. Iggy Pop, if you remember Iggy Pop. Uh, back in the 60s, uh, uh, he had a group called the Stooges. Um I didn't really care for Iggy Pop's kind of music, but, uh, you know, it launched his career, and he was uh, a very, uh, what's the word, energetic, flamboyant, front person, all that, you know, and that just shot him into, him and, and the Stooges into stardom, you know, and they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So, uh, you know, if you want to uh, do some research on Iggy Pop, P.O.P., 73 years young today. Happy birthday, brother. Still alive, still kicking. You know, check out their music. You guys might like it, you know. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, it's just not my flavor of music. Give me some Motown, some soul, so some R&B, a little bit of classic rock if I'm doing the right kind of party, or some country music. And uh, one of my all-time favorites, besides uh, the Motown scene, Jimmy Buffett. I like his music. I don't care for his politics, but I do like his music. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go. A uh, three-day weather forecast. Let's get into that. And what we're going to do, we're going to go right over there to, uh, uh, what's a, how do I pronounce this? Muskegon? Muskegon, Michigan. That's where uh, Iggy Pop was uh, born. So we'll go to Muskegon, uh, not to be confused with Muskego Beach, which is over there in uh, Wisconsin. Um, but uh, I've never been to Muskegon. I'll have to look that up and see what I know. It's cold up there in the wintertime, though. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, Tuesday in uh, Muskegon, Michigan, which is today, uh, it's going to be a high of... Uh, 49, the lows 26, and uh, uh, mostly cloudy today up there in Muskegon, Michigan. Wednesday, Muskegon, 49 again for a high, 39 for a low, and cloudy. And then uh, on Thursday in uh, Muskegon, it's going to be uh, 40, 45, and uh, 37 for a low, and again, cloudy. So, uh, you know, it's kind of dingy for the next three days up in Muskegon, Michigan, if you're traveling up that way. Now, let's come over here to beautiful Tower City, Pennsylvania. Wouldn't you love to live here? I mean, this is my backyard. Yeah, that's, it's beautiful here. And I am such a damn bullshitter. Anyway, yeah, I would like to be there. Though. I'll tell you that. I miss my waterways. Uh-huh. Okay, over here in Tower City, um, today, Tuesday, 53 for a high, uh, 29, or excuse me, 20, yeah, 29 was the low, and there's a 100% chance of rain today over here in Tower City. So my buddy Jim, he's not doing much landscaping or grass cutting today, you know, so he's got to make up for it tomorrow, because tomorrow over here in the Tower City area, it's going to be 48 for a high, 34 for a low, and sunny. Plenty of vitamin D going on tomorrow, Wednesday, in the Tower City area. Keep that in mind, Jim. 
Thursday in Tower City, uh, 57 for a high, uh, 45 for a low, and 70% chance of showers. So you're not going to do much work today, Jim, and you're certainly not going to do uh, much work on Thursday. So you got to hustle and get it done tomorrow. All right, that's it. Uh, today, uh, April the what? What did, what did I say? It is April the twenty-first. Today is National Bulldog Day. You know, appreciate your bulldogs, all you bulldog lovers out there. You know, everybody loves their own little dogs. You know, I love my little Shelties. So uh, uh, celebrate if you have a bulldog. You know. Uh, treat them extra special today, you know, give them a nice little treat, <clears throat> maybe uh, take them to your groomer, get them all, well, you can't take them to your groomer today, forget that idea, give them a nice little treat, you know, pamper them a little bit, that's it, and uh, another uh, celebration today is National Kindergarten Day, today is the day to celebrate kindergarten, because today, back in the 1800s, uh, I didn't do a lot of research, <clears throat> but the fella in Germany that invented kindergarten, invented it and opened it up to the public on this day. So there's some useless trivia information for you. You know, store that in your memory banks, because that could be the winning $1 million prize if you know the answer to when was kindergarten day, what, what day and what month. And there you go, you got it, April the, what, 21st. So, there's your answer, and you could win all that money, and all I would like is a finder's fee of, give me a 10% of that million-dollar lottery check, and I want it after taxes. Okay? Thank you. All right, folks, that's it for today. Have a great day today. I hope everybody's health, healthy and well um, let me know what it's like in your neck of the woods, what the weather's like. If you like my video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, please. Hit that subscribe button, and then there's a little bell. After you hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell twice. Because then it'll, you know, it'll give you options where uh, you can uh, see my video. You'll get nudged occasionally, or you'll get nudged every time I make a video. That way you don't have to remember. It remembers for you. And you can watch these videos any time of the day you want, day or evening. And if you're bored and you have nothing going on, I've been doing these videos for well over uh, two years, probably three years now. If you just want to sit and binge on DJ Ralph Warzy's channel of videos, go ahead, because they're all about nothing. Nothing... It's like Seinfeld, okay? I just ramble on so we can all ease into our day with a cup of coffee if you're doing it first thing in the morning. Okay, there we go. Uh, Sarah, good morning to you. Carol, over there in uh, Georgia, good morning to you. Um, Raymond, Roy, Mary, Hope, Lizzie, Buckle, Brian, Good morning to you guys. I love you guys. Hope things are going well. By the way, that's my uh, my brothers, my sister, and uh, my uh, 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 brother-in-law. Before you wonder why I'm saying good good morning, and uh, you know I love you, and my nieces and nephew. Uh, also, uh, my uh, my oldest daughter Tina. Good morning to you. How you doing? How's the family doing? Say hello to everybody for me. Say hello to Kaylee, Nicholas, Noah. And, of course, Leo. I love all you guys. Hope you're healthy and well. Um, Lloyd, how are you doing out there? Are you traveling? You know, hope things are going well for you. And my cousins and my aunts and my aunts over there in Wisconsin slash Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or the Wisconsin area, good morning to you guys. I guess that's about it. Jim, I hope you're going to have a great day today. And it was a pleasure talking with you yesterday, and thank you for the fine job you did on my yard. I do appreciate it. Speaking of fine jobs, uh, as uh, some of you know, uh, I had to go to a court uh, a month ago now, a little bit over a month, I think it was, um, 
I had a dispute with a contractor I had here. Uh, he didn't complete the job that he was supposed to complete. So I went down to the court, small claims court. I presented my case and I won the case, you know. And he had X amount of days, 30 days, you know, to uh, pay the difference, uh, pay my court fees, and uh, pay for, I got another contractor coming over to finish the work that this fine contractor did not finish. And uh, he hasn't paid me. So now I, I figured he was going to play the game, you know. So now I got to get in touch with the court again down there uh, in, uh, where the heck, the heck is it? It's Tremont. And I got to get in touch with the judge and find out what I got to do. And, uh, you know, I hate to do it, but business is business. You know, if you're intending on doing a job for somebody, complete the job. Or if there's uh, extra things that have to be done to complete it, make that aware. Make your customer aware of it. <clears throat> I needed some uh, things put on my metal roof for the snow or the ice so it wouldn't slide off of there and, you know, hurt somebody if they're walking outside. Well, this contractor didn't put these, I call them crabs, whatever they're called, on top of my metal roof to break up the snow or the ice so it doesn't come down in one big chunk, you know. And uh, he, he didn't put those pieces on there. And he told the judge, well, they're extra money, they cost extra. It's not my line of work. I don't know this. And if you gave me a price, uh, okay, it's going to cost you X amount of dollars to put this metal roof on. I'm figuring, and I say, okay, do it. I want the metal roof. That means I want everything that goes along with it. You know, it's not my fault you didn't express uh, to your fullest extent of, okay, well, well, the roof, we got that, Ralph. But now you got to get these parts for it. You know, and then I looked it up on uh, uh, Home Depot. Uh, these parts that I need, they're like, uh, let's say, at the most $6 a piece. And I only need uh, maybe four or six of them up there. Okay, so let's go with six. Six times $36 in parts. And since they're putting the, the roof on already, <clears throat> there wouldn't have been a, maybe a couple dollars more in labor, if that. I would have paid for it. Come on, you know. All right, that's my rant for today. Have a great day today. Take care of yourself. Love your family, your kids, your neighbors. Appreciate them, your coworkers. Because remember, we are not guaranteed tomorrow, all right? Thank your God for another day on earth. Because all that means is you have a purpose. We have a purpose. The good Lord said, it's not your time yet. you got something else you got to do yet, okay? So, you know, and be kind to one another, if you would. Pray to your God again for peace on earth. Thank your God for another day on earth. And remember, we are not guaranteed tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to put this down, and then I'm going to punch it out. And the good Lord willing, I'll be talking with you tomorrow. God bless you. On three, here we go. One, two, three. Have a great day, folks. Oh, sure. Good morning to you. All right. I'll talk to you later on. God bless you guys. Take care. See you. Big smile. Here we go. One, two. Smile now.